Hello, just a male here with another episode of Sherlock Holmes and the Silver Earring, and I would have never figured this out. You're supposed to look at the last line of the code and read it out loud. Three ones, two twos, and what was it? One one. So the code is three one two two one one. Because there's three ones, three. Ones, two twos, and one one. How in the fuck was I supposed to fucking know that? That's what I'm saying. So it's fucking three, one, two, two, one, one. It is simplicity itself. No, it's not, Holmes. It's stupid, and you're dumb. Okay, anyway. So how's everyone doing today? Did I say that in the last episode? I'm so sorry if I did not. Um... Let's grab this key with the line here. That's obviously allowing what you to grab it. What could this key open? Probably the safe. This could Up be here. valuable evidence. I have no interest in this. But that's a key. And that's a key law. That's a key hole. I have no interest in this. It has Bank no interest statements. in you. Okay, whatever. Let's leave. Bye. Okay, this is all we have. Let's take a looky loo. Okay, it's an antique dealer. And I hope you liked yesterday's uh, special episode with the face cam. If you want to see more of that, let me know, and I can throw that in once in a while. I don't think it's going to be a constant thing, though. Um, I have um, the horror genre-style games that will have the <coughs> cam. Pardon me. <coughs> but I figured because I'm so... Um, I move around so much when I play Sherlock Holmes that, you know, I should record it once in a while. But yeah, sir, your attitude and your behavior in this affair that was sent us one against the other, that was sent us, that has, okay, wow, that's shitty handwriting, um, and it's signed by someone else, it looks like almost, okay, sir, your attitude and your behavior in this affair that has set us one against the other is vile and contemptible, I think. Abandon all thoughts about the Fairfax Theater and the soil on which it stands. You conduct yourself as a brissant and brissant I cannot read that word. Always come to a bad end. That's the funny thing. I can read a lot of that and it's really shitty handwriting. Dwight Richards. Okay, let's see. Money transfers. 8,000 pounds. 150 pounds. Um, 1,500 pounds. 1,500 pounds. That's 15,000. 15,000 pounds. I know what I know how to read. And 400 pounds. <laughs> uh, 3,000 pounds. 800 pounds. Um, all the same person. Okay. Let's get out of here. I have a feeling that I should inspect this Fairfax Theatre. It appears to be Bromsby Enterprises' territory now, and Grimble's office should be nearby. Okay, we're off to the theatre! Not one shred of paper about the inheritance. My superiors keep pressing on me, saying that we're going to a crisis in the city. For now, I'll check into this Richards character. What are your plans? First of all, I will need this key. I presume that you have had neither the time nor the opportunity to inform Mr. Grimble about the current state of the investigation. As it is the weekend, could you ask him to come in? Rest assured, it will be done. Miss Bromsby, I will ask you for your continued patience. But he's talking to him. I have given you my word <laughs> that I will discover the truth. And upon my word, I shall find it. Gentlemen, Watson, we must take our leave. We're leaving by. Where are we going? Are we going here? But what are we doing at this place? I don't know. And why did you ask Lestrade to call Herman Grimble to Sheringford Hall? Mm -hmm. To ensure Grimble would not find us here. In the pursuit of justice, Watson, we are once more obliged to bend the law. Sorry, but why? If Scotland Yard can be shown the necessity of searching the offices of Bromsby's cement works, <laughs> many things may happen. Exactly, Holmes. 
Well, I'm now, sorry Watson, about the noise. My hair is stuck in my headphones. Words. Give me just a second here. Uh, Watson, it okay. seems fortune <laughs> <It> was hurting. <laughs> All right. The microphone section of my headphones, my hair was stuck in it and it was pulling, so I had to take off the headphones. So I didn't hear what they said, so let's go in. Hi, how's you doing? Hello, Mr. Goblet. The last time I saw you, <clears throat> you were filling barrels with motor oil. Well, I'll be jiggered, Mr. Holmes. It is a small world, isn't it? Your days are roaming the docks are long past now, aren't they? Same for me. Tell me, what brings you to these parts? Nothing much. Murder! Are you the watchman for this factory? Not official like, this would be Fat Dub's job. But I take his place on weekends and he checks in on the by and by. He looks like Watson. He looks like Watson. Who is regular night watchman? Mm. That will be Marty and his dogs. Why, Mr. Holmes? I'm an investigator. In truth, <laughs> I'm interested in the recent well, murder of Sir I'm not Bromsby. on crack. My investigation convinces me that vital evidence may well lie within this place. Say nothing more. Here's the key for the office. It's the building just to the right after the entrance. The building's in the centre of the workers' cloakrooms. I don't think you'll find much to interest you there. Uh, further in the yard, there's the storehouse for raw materials. Okay, uh, um, bye, key. Do you also have the key to the former Fairfax Theatre? No, I don't have that key. The only key I know of was given to Mr. Grimble when the building was bought. Hmm. Well, goodbye then, you... I was going to call him something bad. Mr. Holmes, you must make haste, as Dubs has not been by for over two hours, so I'd expect him in the next quarter hour or so. No need for thanking me. This is small service indeed for all that you've done for me in the past. What did I do for we you in the past? <laughs> I'll wait for you. Okay, bye. Bye. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. Let's see. Let's go to over here first. Wait, do I need to talk to... Okay. Watson, you're just going to stand there? Bye. All right, then. He does run outside if you double click. Closed. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Well, do I, can I use the key? Come, Watson. Watson, stay by this window Whoa. and let me know as soon as you see a large man coming from the other side of the street. All right, Holmes. Why? But I went in the door first. You can just stay there, just like I said. Okay. I'm going to look around then. Bye. Watson, I don't know why you put up with Holmes. He's not that nice of a man. Look at him and his beady eye, his one eye. Looks like a really shitty Mario. Um, I can only seem to go upstairs. They must have never cleaned here before. You're not going to go up the stairs because it's dirty? Another one! Another one! This exact same one with everything there, I believe, uh, except for I think there's another box down here, was in the other house I was just at. Sigh. Let's see. Got to use a magnifying glass. Oh, look right there! You see that line? That means something can be done over here. That line. Maybe that's because I... Oh, right there. Pick that key up, bitch. This key reminds Through me of table. another. Reminds you of another. Oh, it does! Yes, the key does look familiar. What a beautiful model. Something seems to be missing. Something else is needed here. How about a cigar Something else garret? is needed here. A cigar garret. How about a key garret? Something else is needed here. I'm missing a person, actually, probably. Kind of, sort of. Well, let's take a... This! I remember playing another Sherlock Holmes with this exact table and or whatever it is. Let's go over here. Look at that. There's something there. Walk all over that shit. Okay... Do you see anything else I can do? Okay, that's downstairs. 
Let's look at the painting. It the is young photos. Grimble, and there are visible signs of family resemblance between the two men. Really? I like how the wallpaper is kind of like going down a little bit right here. Um, Let's have a closer look. Okay, what, do I need the magnifying glass for that? Because you're fucking stupid? Photographs of several completed projects of Bromsby's Enterprises. Okay, well... Oh, he just says let's have a closer look and that's it. Okay, well... Let's go in here. I should say... Closed. Oh, I don't want to get killed. I was right. This is a veritable museum. It's a veritable museum! An old souvenir from India. Mmm, you know what? This calls for saving. Because museums equal saving. If I'm correct. All right. And I just realized my timer is not in view, so I do not know how long I'll be recording for. So I don't know how long this will be. I'm sorry in advance. Can you look anywhere else? Can you do anything else? An you... old souvenir from India. Yeah, can you grab it? Can you can you look at it? Can you cut it open An with a knife? An old souvenir from India. Can you magnify glasses? An old souvenir from India. Can you sexy woman it? Can you match An it? An old souvenir from India. Okay, it's an old fucking souvenir from India. I get that. There. There's something on the ground there. It looks like a residue. Get a magnifying glass on that shit. Oh, it's just the side of the rug. All right, there's nothing there. Holmes! Okay. There has to be more in that room. There has to be. There we go. Okay, we got a scary looking doggy and Odin. I want to say Odin. That's not the right one. It reminds me of the um god with the circle around his back with the balls. That's what that reminds me of. If you know who that is, let me know. I can't remember that typewriter. Looks like I can poke at it. Um Closed. How about this key? Closed. How about this key? <gasps> Papers, read. Oops. There. Account. Is that the new letter I got? Oh. There did... Eleventh of March, fifteenth of March, twenty-first of March. Wow. Okay. All right. That's not good. Different ledgers there. Um. Is there anything else in the safe? Closed. What? Closed. It's open. Closed. Oh, Holmes. I mean, it looks as if someone's been you know, taking money. I want to go this way. Can I go that way or this way? I didn't see a small person. A figure. Anywhere. And I can't see anything I can touch. So I guess I'm going to go back downstairs? Hey. How you doing? I need more information. Yeah, I, I know you need more information. Let's go try to go over here. I can't go in there, and I can't go in here, and I can't look at that. Um, I can go upstairs, and that's it. There has to be more here I can look at, then. Hmm. Like, those, these types of globes usually open up to have, like, alcohol or something in them. Let's take a walk over here. What's that on the carpet? Nothing. Okay, put that back then. Um, I'm at a loss of what to do, actually. I don't see any place I can click. I mean, I'm looking, but I don't see anything. Let's go. 
something up with this rug here. I mean, it's not flat, but let's go over here. Let's go back in this room again and see if there's anything else I missed. Um... Closed. Okay, well, can I use the uh, key? Closed. Okay. Um, can I use the knife? Closed. Is there something I can touch to turn to um? Closed. Open it. Is there a lever or a lever or me punching it in the face? What's that? Oh no. Knife. Closed. Okay. Keys. Closed. Okay. Key? Closed. Magnifying glass. <gasps> Closed. Fuck. Okay. Um. Hmm. I've never seen it, it from here before. Usually if you have a room uh, with a table, with a desk like this, the person's looking at the door and not away from the door. If that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. Um, other than that, I don't see any... Oh, I see something over there. Is it what is... Is there it? anything under this tiger? Well, is there? It looks like it. It's a dirty paper. Is it like a dirty, like, paper that... This writing is very hesitant and jittery. Okay, let's see what it says. Don't be stupid, Grimble. Accept my conditions unless you do. Uh, be assured that I will let everything I know. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I'm just adding words to this. I am so sorry. Unless you do, uh, be assured that I will tell everything I know to anyone with earshot at sh um, the Hall WC. Okay. Um, I forgot how to get out of here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I found that. Is there anything else I can poke at? Um, whatever happened to that, uh, figurine I found? I wish I knew how to open this. I can't do it yet, though. You'd think there'd be, like, a button someplace that I press and it would let me open it. Oh, well. Okie dokie, let's leave, then. Let's go back downstairs. And it's gonna tell me again that I can't do anything and then I'm gonna get grumpy. I can't go down this side. Hey, are we are we done? Can we go home now? I Bye. need more information. Okay, maybe not. I saw a line over here. Right here. Which means that I could look around this or under this. Can I? Holmes? Holmes? Holmes! How about here? Here? Hmm. It's not that I'm l lazy or I don't care. I'm just having trouble figuring out what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. Maybe if I look at these again. Nope. Can I walk over here? And take a look at this. Please go over there. Please? Thank you. No, not here. I want to look at... We'll look at this again then. Mm, can I pick any of these up? Something else is needed here. Yeah, I know. Uh, put your fucking dick in it. I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> I was trying not to be mean this episode, but gosh darn it, Holmes. Maybe if I walk over here. I can't look at any of this stuff, and it's frustrating. I see your shoe. Can't look at that. I wish you could press, like, tab or something, and it would highlight all the stuff that you could look at. Of course, that wouldn't make it a difficult game at that point. Um, we'll go back. What's that on the car? The carpet's discolored right there. Let me go back here and try to, um, take a look at that. Okay. 
Can you look at that? Can oh, I hate you. I hate you, Holmes. You're such a douchebag. Okay, I can't. All right, all right. Hmm. I remember seeing that table in another Sherlock Holmes. So there's a line there indicating I can do something that I can't. Okay, so I can't look at this. Can't look at that. The clock has stopped. That is missing a piece. Um, do we go again to that other room we were just at? Oh, this game makes me feel stupid, and that's why it's in the games that make Jezebel feel stupid. Can't, maybe I can move one of those? Nope. I can't look at those. It looks like there's something right there under the table, but that might actually be part of the table. And I can't move that. An old souvenir from can India. I put a hat on it? No. <laughs> um. No. No! Hmm. I really don't want to have to look this up, but at the same time, this will take multiple episodes for me to figure it out. So what I did is, I can't open this yet. I bet you I have to do something with the typewriter. I probably have to type something up on the typewriter and it's going to open this fucking thing. But I can't use the typewriter. The typewriter looks like it's out of place in comparison to all the other stuff that's here. That's why I said that. Um... So I'll just click on everything. Nope. Locked. Okay. Um. I don't see anything else laying around. I really don't want to look. I'm frustrated because I really don't want to look it up, but I don't think I have a choice because I do not know what the fuck to do. Man, this game. <laughs> 